Red Crab Migration Christmas Island's mass red crab migration is one of the most incredible natural processes on Earth. Every year, millions of these large crabs emerge from the forest and go to the ocean to breed, swarming across roads, streams, rocks, and beaches. Red crabs are land crabs, so they can't swim, but unfortunately for them, they still have to release their eggs into the sea. All around Christmas Island, the crabs descend upon the beaches and cliffs in their millions, it's an amazing once-in-a-lifetime spectacle. It's a truly spectacular sight in that world. The migration starts with the first rainfall of the wet season. This is usually in October or November, but can sometimes be as late as December or January. Red crabs all over the island leave their homes at the same time and start marching toward the ocean to mate and spawn. Male crabs lead the migration and are joined by females along the way. The exact timing and speed of the migration are determined by the phase of the moon. Red crabs always spawn before dawn on a receding high tide during the last quarter of the moon. Incredibly, they know exactly when to leave their burrows to make this lunar date. The larger male crabs usually arrive at the sea first. The crabs take a dip in the sea to replenish moisture. Next, the male crabs dig burrows in the lower terraces of the island. The huge number of crabs means burrows are very close together, and males will often fight each other for possession of a burrow. The female crabs then join the males on the terraces to mate in or near the burrows. After mating, male crabs have a second dip in the sea before starting their journey back home. The female crabs stay behind in the moist burrows. They produce eggs within three days of mating and will remain in the burrows for about another two weeks as the eggs develop. Each female crab can produce up to 100,000 eggs, which she holds in a brood pouch. When the high tide starts to turn before dawn, the crabs move into the sea and release their eggs before returning to the forest. Spawning may occur on five to six consecutive nights during the migration. Red crab larvae hatch from the eggs as soon as they make contact with the water. Clouds of larvae swirl near shore before being taken out to sea by waves and the receding tide. They grow through several larval stages over the next month, eventually developing into prawn-like animals called megalopi. The megalopi gather in pools close to the shore for one or two days until they become fully formed baby crabs and emerge from the water. Measuring about 5 millimeters across, the tiny crabs begin marching inland, taking around nine days to reach the safety of the plateau. There they will stay hidden in rocky outcrops and forest debris for the first three years of their life. However, the vast majority of larvae never make it out of the water, instead, they are eaten by fish, manta rays, and the enormous whale sharks that visit Christmas Island to take advantage of this annual feast. To protect our red crabs, some sections of roads may close for part or all of the day during the peak migration time, often at short notice. You will also see crab bridges built over the roads. These are great places to stand and watch the flow of crabs. Public notice boards and local radio provide updates on crab movements during the migration. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment your views below.